But obviously, this is Daniel interpreting this cryptic writing on the wall that's got this whole banquet, of course, in panic. Well, it's interesting. It's about 12 days later that Cyrus makes his grand entrance. His general has conquered the city, taken over. Cyrus and his entourage comes. Josephus records Daniel greeting Cyrus and presenting to Cyrus a scroll of Isaiah. And what is in the scroll of Isaiah is a letter to Cyrus written 150 years earlier, long before Cyrus was born. And uh, this is in Joseph, uh, uh, Josephus. Um, the, uh, uh, what makes this letter so provocative is it addresses Cyrus by name. It highlights his career and addresses him by name. And uh, this was, uh, uh, Isaiah wrote this, as I say, 150 years before he was born. And here's what it says in Isaiah. It's in Isaiah 44, 45, last part of chapter 44, early part of 45. That saith to the deep, this be God, that saith to the deep, be dry, and I will drive up, dry up thy rivers. Oh, that's interesting. Thus saith of Cyrus, oh, there's my name. He is my shepherd. He shall be for my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built, and to the temple, thy foundation shall be laid. So it predicts Cyrus' name, and that he will give them, he'll free them to go home. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, to his anointed. Here is, in the Old Testament, a Gentile called the anointed of God. That's interesting. Whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him, I will loose the loins of kings. A strange phrase. You may miss that otherwise. What that tells you is that incident that I mentioned in Daniel chapter 5 didn't just happen. It was a publicly known embarrassment. 